Okay, so we need to do a market analysis and, uh, and think about our product and, and, and the target markets and things like that. Now, uh, I was surprised to find out that many of you haven't had a marketing class before. And that makes me so thankful that I put the review up in the beginning so we could all kind of start on the same uh, level. Uh, continue to watch those videos and practice and, and take notes and uh, hopefully we'll all end up in the same place. Uh, one of the concepts was, and I'm going to be including these in along the way since we need to keep them going and, and use them. Uh, the marketing concept. Find out what the people want first and then provide it. We went out and looked for private label opportunities. We found out what was available. Now we need to practice the marketing concept and find out if what our opportunities uh, are things that people really, really need. Uh, the selling concept is just to build it, build the product and shove it. Or just pick a private label for an item and import it, slap a label on it and, and be done. So we really need to do some research. You need to bounce your ideas off of uh, anybody and see uh, if anybody can poke a hole into your, your thinking. Uh, we could do a convenience sample. That was a term from your study guide. Convenience sample is we just find our friends and our family and ask them what they think of our idea. Sometimes we get honesty, sometimes we don't. <clears throat> Or they just want to agree with us because we're so excited about the idea. Uh, but if we could, and we might have to, it's only five weeks, uh, do some convenient sample, ask your friends, you know, if they think this product would be successful, if people would really need it. Uh, you could do a survey of some sort that would help and, and take it a bit further and get, a, get out of your, get away from your, your friends and family and, and do some real market research. That would help us to find out if this is an item before we invest in it and that it's something that people need. Now I also want you to look at uh, when thinking about now that you got some ideas uh, go check out and see if they sell a lot. Are they high sellers? They sell in great volumes. Are they low sellers? You might observe uh, the grocery shelf. Uh, you don't know what well you there are clues when the grocery shelf is restocked. Uh, but you might go one day and then go back the next day or the next day and see how many of the item is still there and how much was there and how much, is, how much did people buy. Uh, and conceptually, if, we, if it's a staple uh, such as rice and beans uh, that uh, the, the culture uses a lot, uh, they might be high sellers. Uh, but then you might find out that cosmetics or things like that are actually low sellers. I don't know, I don't use makeup, but uh, maybe I should. Uh, so how, much, how many cosmetic items actually sell a lot? Now we come to uh, the concept, and I don't think this was in your uh, study guide. It might have been. Uh, the, the people at Central Farm have all heard this concept of mice versus hamsters to make a uh, Long story short, I ended up with a couple of pythons uh, in graduate school and they ate mice and I was having to buy mice so, and that was expensive. They were like $1.79 a piece or something. So uh, we decided to grow our own mice and I'm telling you before you knew it, I had thousands of mice and I would take these a couple of hundred at a time uh, from my family farm up to uh, to Memphis and sell them to the to the pet shops. And you say, well, why? How, what are people going to do with mice? Well, <clears throat> I could literally take 200 mice into Memphis on on a Monday, and by Thursday or Friday, all of the mice were gone because they were given to snakes. Uh, so, is your product something that goes away really fast? So I was breeding mice, but I could have bred hamsters. But hamsters are considered pets, and we, 
we cuddle with them and we play with them and unless the cat gets them the hamster lasts three or four years probably so i could sell 200 my every week every week uh and then maybe five hamsters so is your product uh something that goes away quickly like shilling chips or is it like a, a clothing that sticks around and people use it for a long long time so back to the uh uh, study guide again one more time uh, we're gonna have to find out is it real do people really need the product can you win can you win over the market and make the product successful and then the next question is is it worth it if we're only going to make 20 cents off of each one and there's going to be some that expire or get damaged it might not be worth it but then don't don't just end with that because the profit margin on shilling chips can't be that much they're only a shilling but you sell a ton of them so we need to look at some of these things now uh, go and look at your your target markets and look at your product ideas and ask yourself is it real can we win and is it worth it you got to visualize folks I want you to take your little baby project and think about it think about it in its nice little packaging that you put on there not just to protect the product but to attract people to the product and communicate to the people about the product and that product is on a pallet and it's coming down and all of a sudden it's in your garage and now we're going to break it up and put our product in the store if your product goes in the store and you visualize it you visualize your your barbecue sauce next to craft take a reality check i'm not saying that your barbecue sauce against craft isn't going to work i'm not saying that at all i'm just saying how is it going to work how can you make it work a worldwide respected top-notch brand of craft versus your barbecue sauce how are your spices going to stack up to Badia and the place up north uh, visualize it on the shelf visualize why would people want that product so there we go uh, so this is part one of your assignment to go and look you've already got a hunch that people want your product but let's go get some proof so we can practice the marketing concept and do risk minimization minimize our risk with this venture thinking strategically